I'm going to use a, some bicycle spokes and a bike, broken bicycle chain and basically I'm going to forge well that billet into something. I'm going to twist it now in a minute as well. And now I have this bicycle chain as well. So a bicycle lock, bicycle spokes and a bicycle chain. Two separate billets and see what we can actually make of it once it actually works. Um, and in a minute I'm going to also put some flux on it. I'm just sticking it into the non-oxidizing layer of the fire and that then prevents it from scaling up. But I have the blower as low as possible. But the fire is quite high so it's going to give off quite a bit of heat. So when that's done we'll get started. You can see it's a really dull heat. We don't want it to be too much. So that's what I'm trying to do is reduce that amount of scale of course. There we go. So I'm gonna stick it back in there now and bring it up to an orange heat so it can actually really um, kind of melt the flux out of there with all the impurities as well. That's twisting nicely for me. A little bit thick there in the middle for some reason. That's better. section at a time but I'm kind of impatient usually. Oh. It seems to be working anyway so I'm good with that. Now I can't see any more strands. There are a few. I did flux it as well in between goals. I didn't show that bit. So here you go, we have ourselves just one or two lines left. I didn't grind them all away because I wanted to show you. There's one, um, but I barely can get my, this is the only one I can get my fingernail in, but it will grind away. So it's one solid piece. Now we have a little bit of a problem. I cannot, I don't, I don't think I have enough material to make a wrap around um, little hatchet. Unless I'm going to make a mini hatchet, and I think I might just do that because the idea stuck in my head now, so I, I better do something like that. I'm going to use the other billet as the bit. Well, we'll see where it takes us. Maybe that'll become the wraparound and this becomes the bit. We'll see. So, let's get started and see where it takes us. So I'm going to start off forge welding this. I'm going to do the same process, but this time I'm going to be even more careful, more flux. There's a lot of holes in there and I need to be able to uh, forge well that together gently and get it all to stick together and get so much rust it's going to be really stinky 
And then I'm going to put it into the fire, but to, to one side, just so that it can cook a little bit without getting too hot. And that should then clean everything up nicely. Now I'll open the window so you can actually see a little bit better. And uh, more flux, you know. There we go. So the taps are just light, just until I feel it on the hammer actually. And I'm squeezing together and I get a bit of resistance and then I stop. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pour it well one more time. Just, I mean there's a lot of air gaps still in it, but I'm just going to weld those pieces together first. And then the next heat I'm going to give it a... I'm going to flux it and then I'm going to whack it on the anvil just to get all that stuff out of it and by that time I'm thinking that the piece should be fully welded together so it's solid. So that's solid now, but there's still holes in it. It certainly it's not doing very much. Some stuff is coming out. I'm kind of dreading losing the stick because see that coating there now, that's nice. Reason being is because these tongs, I'm going to have to wear gloves, trying to get this out of there is going to be a little bit awkward I think. Amazing, the handle just sucks some of the, what should we call it out of it, the heat. and drawing it out sideways, so that's good. Oh, and there we have one piece that is actually in line with the handle like that so I know where it is in the fire. So I can lay it flat in the fire rather than like that and just keep turning it. Get the flux in there and we can get started. 